Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to create a realistic landscape in Twinmotion. Let's get started. So first things first, we need to download two things. We need to download Blender and we need to go to GitHub to download Blender GIS. So here, Blender is an open source free program. So you just need to scroll down here and install Windows or Mac or Linux, depending on what you have. So once you've done that, you will need to go to GitHub and download Blender GIS. And then you just need to press the code and then download the zip file and you don't need to unzip it. So both of the website link will be in the description. So once you download Blender and install it, this will appear. We just need to select everything and then press delete to delete it. Next thing is we need to install the plugin extension. So we need to click edit preferences and then click add on and then click install. You need to navigate where you place the Blender GIS. So I have the Blender GIS here and I don't need to unzip it. So I just need to click this and then install add-on. Once you install, we need to do two things. We need to check this and then go to drop down. Then here you will need to set your cache folder. And now we're ready. So we just need to close this. So now if you notice, we have the GIS icon at the top left corner. So we could click this one and then go to web, geodata, and then base map. So now we're going to use Google Satellite. And then we just need to press OK here. And then press G on your keyboard. It will ask you to go to. So now we need to go back to Google Map. So here I just search on Grand Canyon National Park and then I want this area. So now I'm going to right click here and then copy this coordinates and then go back to blender and then paste this coordinates here so control v and then let's change the zoom level to 15 so click that and change it to 15 and then press ok So here we can navigate around this area and then you will need to press E and it will crop that area. So we're not done yet. We need to go to GIS again, Web Geodata and get elevation and then press OK and give it some time so once it's done you can see that it created that depth but we can improve that or strengthen strengthen the elevation by going to mod modify properties and then here under strength let's change this to two and then enter. 
and then go to modifiers and then apply this and then apply again so now that our file is ready we can now go to file and then export and then it's either fbx obj so i'm gonna choose fbx and save it so once you save it let's go now to twin motion and then we have to import the file so twin motion is open click import and navigate to the location where you save the fbx so here and then i'm going to open it and then press ok so it's all the way up there so what you have to do is you need to click this and then look for the gizmo and then there it is so what you do is you have to put negative let's say 2500 Uh, this is good enough so ne negative 2500 and you just need to go at the top so i'm not gonna bore you with that so now uh, i'm at the top and as you can see i'm looking at the aerial view of this terrain so what you need to do next is to change the time of the day to make it more realistic change the north offset you can also change some visual effects so ism and as you can see it looks nicer and more realistic um, you can also change the materials so for me i'm gonna stick with this as it looks amazing already but if you want you can go to the materials and then ground and then choose one of this so for example the forest change the scale afterwards and then you can even put snow something like that so i'm gonna undo that and then just stick with this thank you for watching and hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below